I'm here with my PT, Mike. Mike is going to help us with problems that might arise after pregnancy when we have our babies and we're holding them, a lot of shoulder injuries. I'm Mike, I'm a doctor of physical therapy, certified strength conditioning specialist. So yeah, shoulder health post-pregnancy, super duper important to address. Uh, realize you're going to be carrying weight in front of you. So unless you've been repeatedly doing that, uh, your body's going to probably start being like, Ooh, what's going on? And that's okay. First things first, you got to build up shoulder stability. Okay. So side planks, a great pattern, especially even during pregnancy. Um, it's a good to start building up that base for your abdominals, just because your, uh, abdominal lining is going to be kind of expanding, uh, during child development. But uh, we're going to be using this for shoulder health. Ideally, we're going to be on the floor in a traditional side plank position. But let's say you can't do that. That's fine. Victoria, let's come over here and we're going to place our hand on the bench. Okay. And we're going to turn uh, to your left and yep, let's place one foot on top of the other. So we're just going to do a nice, simple high side plank. Okay. So it's a side plank from this position. You can start here on the hand. Maybe you got wrist injuries. That's okay. Victoria, can you drop to that elbow? You can be on your elbow. So notice the height of the object she's on. Okay. This is roughly around chair height. So literally you can just push a chair against the wall and hold. Ideally, if we can hold, you know, start with five seconds, work to 10 seconds, work to 20 second holds. Maybe if you can't start here, that's okay. Start at kitchen counter height. That's fine. And then work to chair height. And then ideally we're working towards the floor. So let's pop off that bench and let's demonstrate on the floor. We're just going to be in a side plank position on the ground. Ideally, if you can get to this position, that's great. There's a lot of movement patterns we're going to be able to build out of here. Okay. But again, it's just teaching that bottom shoulder to be nice and stable. If you notice her elbows directly under her shoulder, so it's forcing the shoulder complex to load and stabilize. Okay. If you really want to start layering other shoulder concepts, you can start having this arm swing up overhead. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't want to work on shoulder flexion, you can always work on horizontal abduction. Okay, this is called. So where she's just opening up that hand. So I think the top arm's working on moving, the bottom arm's working on stabilization. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, and what I notice is that sometimes I come to him like, oh, this is hurting. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, we're going to exercise it. And I'm like, no, it's hurting. Yeah. <laughs> but then after I exercise it, it hurts less. Yes, exactly. So imagine a lot of time people think our shoulders are a very stable joint. Imagine it more like a golf ball on a tee. So the surrounding musculature is going to pack in and help stabilize that shoulder. Realize all rehab is, is think about what you normally do and do the opposite. Okay. Which is going to lead us to our next exercise. Okay. So think if you're holding a child and carrying a child, a lot of the time you're going to be spinning this arm in your pecs and lats are going to get a little tight. They can also shorten, right? Yep, exactly. And think anytime we're hang out in a position, we tend to adapt to the position uh, we place our body at. So um, if you happen to have a foam roller, all you're going to be doing is laying on your back. So butt on one end and then head on the other. Perfect. Just like that. Good. And think you can kind of bend those knees a little. Good. Just make sure your head's nice and supported. Try not to let your head dangle off. Okay. If you guys are on that foam roller and all you're going to do is you're just going to imagine you're a kid playing in the snow. Oh, that's it. And <laughs> you're just like going to be doing a snow angel. Oh, this feels so good. Yeah. I love it. There I remember. Go. Just opening on up, allow that chest <laughs> to round around those, uh, around that fo yeah. uh, foam roller, just so you can start kind of opening up and stretching your pecs. Okay. I remember this was one of the first exercises you taught me. Yeah. And we were in Spain and I was doing this on the floor and I was so happy. Like, Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this one's really portable that you can do. Um, so this is one option. Okay. Now this is to stretch out the pecs. Like I said, pecs and lats are big, powerful internal rotators. So they're going to round those shoulders. Okay. So another alternative one, Victoria, let's switch and alternate. And we're just going to imagine we're just going to raise one hand up overhead and then the other arm. Okay. Just imagine like you're doing a backstroke. Mm. Okay. This is just going to start stretching the lats. Oh, it feels good. Now you may realize, um, your back lifts off the foam roller. Mm -hmm. So try to flatten that back and keep it to the foam roller as you're lifting. Very commonly when we reach overhead, people have a tendency to arch that low back, especially if you're doing military presses or Arnold press or shoulder presses, anything overhead. So just start using this as a nice drill to start retraining Hey, I don't need to arch my back. That's super important with pregnant individuals because for nine months, you had a giant bowling ball <laughs> hanging out in front of you, which is causing your low back to arch. So we want to retrain. Hey, I can lift stuff overhead without having to excessively arch my low back. 
I can kind of keep this anchor down as I reach up overhead. I remember that that also made me calm more mm -hmm. when my abs were separated. Yep, absolutely. So it's going to help set you up a little better post-pregnancy if you can kind of work on that or dropping that rib cage during your pregnancy. Okay. This feels amazing. Perfect. And then let's say uh, if you're at home and you're like, I don't have a foam roller. That's okay. There's solutions. So, so all we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a door frame. Okay. So uh, Victoria, let's head over here to the door frame. And a nice simple way to stretch out your chest. Victoria is going to place one hand on one side of the door frame and her forearm on the other side of the door frame. And let's spin around and turn into, yep. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Perfect. Nice. And all you're going to do is be right here again, same concept, Try not to arch that low back. So imagine, take that rib cage and drop it on down some. Perfect. Now she's just going to take a step with either left foot or right foot through just till she feels a nice pull through the chest and something to think about okay we got different pec fibers we got sternal fibers we got clavicular fibers so she can play with her forearm angle and the angle of where her humerus is okay humerus is this big old bone okay so let's try raising up those forearms a little higher and oh yeah yes and that's going to change the stretch oh, nice. of what we're stretching okay and again same concept try not to arch that back and if it means you can barely even step, you can only step an inch, that's fine. That's where you're at, okay? But think just loosen up and relax. Nice, Victoria. Ooh, Perfect. Nice. So think, just start thinking about if you're going to be here, all rehab is is think about what you normally do and do the opposite. So we're just going to do a lot of opening drills, okay? Uh, now, those are more mobility drills, okay? So think mobilizing, getting to move. You want to start strengthening things. So let's head on over to some weights, okay? Today we're gonna start nice and light, okay? We're gonna start with only five pounds, okay? But let's say you're at home, you're like, I don't have small weights, that's okay. So think all you're gonna be doing is, uh, Victoria's gonna be holding these weights, she's gonna be in a bent over T position. So if you don't have weights at home, use water bottles, cans of soup, that works <laughs> fine, okay? <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna be in a nice flat back kind of bent over position. Make sure your shoulders are level with your butt, Arms are going to be nice and straight. And all you're going to do is pull those hands apart to shoulder level and coming back down. Nice and easy. This is just going to start strengthening the musculature on the back side of the shoulders. Okay. And we'll get, you know, around, start with like maybe a set of eight, two, three sets of eight. Something to think about playing with hand position, right? And relax. Perfect. So let's try spinning our thumbs up towards the ceiling with the same position and tell me if that feels a little different. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and you're gonna notice the difference in that. And relax, perfect. So think palms down is different than thumbs up, which is a little different than, let's try again, but pinkies. Ooh. Good, feels a little different <laughs> as well. So we're just targeting different areas of the shoulder complex, okay? Um, so, and relax, perfect. So those are some three simple strengthening drills. So start thinking in your mind, mobility, typically you have to have the range of motion first, and then you want to start strengthening that range of motion. So there's a little catchphrase. Uh, one of my old professors from PT school used to say is gain the range, train the range. So get the mobility of that snow angel or that walkthrough, make sure you can actually open up your chest and then start strengthening from there. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs>